Happy Sunday! It is the start of my week and in this video I'm going to be taking you through how I use Living Proof products throughout the entire week. And not just any Living Proof products, but specifically the Curl Collection. I have been raving about these products for a minute now before y'all knew what they were. And now that you know, because they have finally released and are available on Sephora.com and on livingproof.com, I wanted to go ahead and create kind of a week long journey of how I actually use Living Proof Curl Collection throughout um, the transitions of my hair. So from wash and go to bun to braid out to all the things that I do to transition my hair. So that is what what we'll be covering in this video so go ahead and stay tuned for a week of using living proof curl products now today is technically wash day it's sunday and i'm honestly getting a later start to my wash day i usually try to do my wash in or my wash day ritual <laughs> earlier in the day so my hair has time to just you know air dry and everything into my wash and go but i'm getting started a little later so i'm actually going to hop in the shower cleanse condition using the curl shampoo and conditioner and then i'm gonna go ahead and style my wash and go using the curl definer and the styling gel Okay, so update since I washed and conditioned my hair. I cannot find my curl definer, which is so annoying. I have been literally just like going all over the house and doing the most. I just moved into basically my new office space because I had all my stuff still like packed up basically in boxes in a hot mess since we moved into our new house. And so the room that I thought I was gonna use for my office is no longer my office. So I set up my actual office this week and or this past week and I cannot find where I put the definer. But it's okay because this gives us an opportunity to try something new. So I'm actually gonna be using the curl enhancer as my leave-in and the defining gel on top. So I haven't used these products together yet. I actually haven't even used this one yet. This is probably the last, it is. This is the last product in the collection that I haven't tried yet. So this will be a new experience for both of us or all of us <laughs> here in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and style with these two and see how my hair turns out. The curl enhancer and the defining gel. Okay y'all, so finished applying the products. I really didn't feel so much of a difference between when I use my curl definer versus curl enhancer. Um, so this will be interesting to see. I'm wondering if it'll be a little bit more lightweight, maybe bigger, maybe fluffier just because the curl enhancer is supposed to be for like wavier, softer textures, uh, but obviously it's still in the curl collection. So based on your hair type, your hair may really like this product versus another, and you may have curly hair like mine or curlier. Now I'm excited. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just diffuse my hair so I can see how it all looks when it's dry. Initially, I was just gonna air dry as I usually do, but now I'm like excited and I wanna see how it looks. So let's go ahead and diffuse real quick and see the final results okay okay curls I see you oh my gosh y'all okay I did not expect these results I really didn't I thought it was gonna be a little bit less defined I thought I wasn't gonna get as much like moisture but my hair clumped so well as I was putting the uh, the curl enhancer in and I could just feel that it was gonna be a good combo and I was right, okay? <laughs> so this, the so the difference between I would say these results versus when I use the curl definer, okay? This is curl enhancer, which is the more lightweight product versus curl definer. Really quickly, I will say that my hair feels a little bit lighter 
like weight wise than with the definer, but I'm not mad at it because it's really not that big of a difference. I will say that I feel like when I use the definer, which is the heavier moisturizer, kind of like the middle moisturizer in the collection. So the lightest is going to be the Curl Enhancer lightweight product. And then the Curl Elongator is the heaviest um, moisturizer or leave-in styling product that the collection has. And so the definer is usually the one that I go to as I, I can kind of always in the middle between wanting lightweight but also wanting the moisture but I don't feel like I'm missing any moisture with the enhancer over the definer I'm definitely I'm here for it I'm here for it and I I really would not have used the enhancer like I would not have grabbed the enhancer prior to today because I couldn't find my definer but I'm really glad that I did because now I know that I could easily use the enhancer or the definer for my wash and go so we're happy, we're happy with these results. Good morning, good morning. It is Monday, I am starting off the week and I did my wash and go yesterday and sometimes this happens where like, I think I'm gonna do something or I think that I'm gonna feel like, you know, really pineappling my hair the right way the night before, but clearly like had no, sort of care for my curls last night. So usually this is the way my hair looks when I go to sleep. So I usually have to do a full refresh um, in the morning uh, to get my wash and go back to where it is. Cause obviously it's like, you know, bent and stuff here and there. And so right now, all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of water to my hands and then apply a bit of the curl defining gel to my hair. Now I only add a little bit of this to each section because I don't want to add too much as I know I'm going to be adding a bit of product throughout the week. So um, in order for my hair to really like flourish, um, I have to minimize the amount of product and instead of adding a bunch of creams or extra gels and oils and stuff, I'll just use water and I'll mix water with different things to refresh my hair. So I literally will coat my hands in water and then use the gel and kind of mix it all together so my hands are like soaking wet and then I work that through my hair, um, pulling it, sometimes brushing it out, sometimes I don't, um, just figuring out whatever is going to make my hair kind of bounce back and usually just smoothing my hair and like using my hands um, and not a brush will let my curls kind of pop back the closest to how they looked like day one of my wash and go. So here are my refreshed curls and I would say my hair is like 80% dry. It just looks a little bit more wet because I literally only used the amount of water needed to activate my curls again. And that's going to reactivate the products that I already put in it yesterday too. So that's why I just added a little bit more gel just for some definition and some shine. Um, you can also add in the shine oil once your hair is like completely dry. But for me, I usually am okay with the shine and the results that I get with just using water and the gel to refresh my curls. So I am actually going to let my hair um, air dry because that's what I usually do because I'm usually in the house all day. So no need to really worry about going out in the cold or anything. But if I was going out for the day, I would definitely diffuse my hair to make sure it was all dry before I went into the elements. Uh, but yeah, this is how I refresh my curls. Hey y'all, back for the next part of this video, which is me doing my hair after I've worn it in a wash and go for a couple of days. I uh, slept with my hair like this last night. I pretty much wore my hair like this yesterday too. And so today is my transition day. So I have things to do around the house and kind of just, you know, running errands and stuff. So I'm actually gonna do two braids, which are actually going to prep for my hair tomorrow. And so this is usually my style that I go to after I've worn my wash and go for a couple days. And I still want to like have my hair out, but in a different style without having to completely re-wet it and doing a new wash and go. So I love doing braid outs. They're like so easy and like a go-to of mine. So I'll be showing you how I use the curl elongator to hydrate my hair and prep for that style and then show you my results tomorrow when I actually take the braids down.
obsessed, okay? Obsessed with this braid out. It's so fluffy, so much shine. I am just really, really happy with these results. And my hair actually has a bit of hold to it too. So when I was adding the water, as I was adding the curl elongator to my hair, and it was already pretty much, my hair was already dry. So just adding a little bit of water helped reactivate those other products that we've been using all week. As I mentioned before, that's kind of like how I maintain my styles as well, is like just adding water people don't realize like how much water can do for your hair and water is moisturizing so you don't always have to add product on top of product sometimes you just need a little bit of water and maybe even smaller amounts of hair product if you need to but water is such a great component to help refresh your hair and even with a dry style where my hair was already dry and I wanted to reactivate it and re kind of mold it it still gave me such great results even using um, a product on top of all these other products that I've been using um, throughout the week and that's the other piece of using you know a full collection of hair products is that they all are made to work together so when you can use products within the same collection or even the same brand products are going to work better because they're more effective when partnered together so as you can see my hair looks so good but also y'all it feels really really lightweight like this doesn't feel like I've you know worn it for the last five days since my last wash like it doesn't it feels lightweight it's super big and that's you know the effect i wanted to go for anyway by doing this on you know brushed out hair um it gives me a bit more volume and just a lot more just everything <laughs> when i do this style on already dried hair as you can see i've got so much definition a new texture pattern going on besides my usual wash and go so it makes me feel like i'm doing something different um, without having to start completely fresh so yeah this is my go-to hairstyle when i'm not in a wash and go but i still want my hair out and there you have it. That is how I used the Living Proof Curl products throughout the entire week, transitioning from hairstyle to hairstyle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out these products on livingproof.com and Sephora.